Excuse me. Okay, there we go. And nothing so far. Okay. Alright, so I believe I have to go up. No, I have to go left and then up. Because going up is stupid. Alright, teaming darkness. Sweet. Actually, no, that's not sweet. That means the Heartless will charge at you. <laughs> yeah, in this game, you really have to know what the cards do and what the their effects are as well. Because, you know, Teeming Darkness will sick Heartless after you. Um, the Roulette Room will give you the ability to choose what car you're able to get, you know. Uh, it's sort of playing your cards right. But the green and bl the green cards, I will probably never really get that much use out of because I don't know the red but there's also like in Yu-Gi-Oh um, color variations like the red ones are enemy cards which t take on what uh, effect they depict um, green ones are are beneficial to you which you know do, you gotta read them <laughs> and blue ones are like the uh, I guess you can call them the neutral doors or not I don't know I don't really care what you call them. Any case, I skipped to the point where I defeated all the Heartless. I didn't level up, but uh, it, it was a lot of repetitiveness. So, I, you know, I just cut that out. Okay, we have to go up. So, we have to go back the way we came and go up. Great. Don't you just hate that? And that's also the reason why I cut out. Because that was, like, that would have been a lot of time wasted on that one room. So... Well, a lot of time was wasted on that run room room, but I, I think you guys get... I, I, fit, I put all the pieces there. I think you can fit them together. Wind is sure blowing today. Huh. I guess we have to go further up. Either that or we have to cross the dimensions. No, that's stupid. Alright. So... Oh, by the way, um, the white mushroom door, I don't exactly know how it works. But by the way, this is the calm bounty door, I already explained it. But the white mushroom door, the one where it's white and has a mushroom on it, um, I don't exactly know how it works. I believe it, it's just like in Kingdom Hearts 1, but I never really cared enough to, you know, actually go into it. So yeah, we just got Miracle. Uh, I don't really use that card, and I don't really know what it does. But it must be some Miracle. I think it restores all all your uh, cards that you lost. Or something, I don't know. Oh, man! <laughs> The moment I step in the room, a heartless comes trudging for me, too. Alrighty then. I think I forgot to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> no, I didn't. Lord, you know, th this part would go a lot faster if I wasn't so bloodthirsty for heartless. So heartless thirsty. All right, I think that I think we're good now. <laughs> I just uh, had to get my few nip picks out, my few uh, pickings out. But you know, now that I think about it, it's kind of morbid how Sora is killing the Heartless. I mean, he's literally uh, picking them away with a key. In any case, now we can visit Sally and see why the heck she'd be, be stealing Doctor Frankenstein's crap again. Sally, you are under arrest. For what? For Grand Theft Brain. I mean, heart. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't Grand Theft... Uh, hmm. Grand Theft is stealing a car, right? <laughs> I stole a car that had a heart in it. Afraid of what? Y 
you know what? I kind of zoned out in the first dialogue scene, so I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> it's only Oogie Boogie? What? Whoa, wow, whoa. Any case, honestly, uh, you know, it would make sense if they showed the, uh, if they showed Lock, Shock, and Barrel, I don't know, like, releasing Oogie, and, uh, you know, him coming through all, uh, to, uh, you know, I don't know, get revenge on Jack or something, but no, he just appears. I get it, you know, it's, uh, he's the bad guy of the world, and this is, I guess this is how Sora remembers it, but still. Any case, we got our key to truth, so, uh... Let's bash some Oogie, let's bash some brains out. Yeah. Alright, so where is it now? By the way, if you press the select button, you can automatically bring up the world map. I, I don't know, it's something I forget to do. I, I don't know, who knows? Maybe pausing the game just makes me, me feel a little bit more comfortable. Since, you know, I don't have to worry about any enemies charging their, uh, charging face first into me. <laughs> okay, so, you know, nothing, like, too painstakingly different. What am I going for? What am I going for? You know what, guys? I recommend this. Every time you go close to a boss room, I recommend that you at least put the room where the, door, the key to truth or whatever... You know, right before that room, like a roulette room or something, because you, you never know... If you're gonna need, well, actually, if you go to right, if you stand right next to the door and press triangle, you can actually, um, you can actually change the room. But still, like, make it a roulette room so that way you have a better chance of getting cards that are zero or the cards that are equal to. Because the roulette room will let you decide on which card you get. So yeah, you just gotta kill a few heartless to do so. Okay, so thankfully I have a level four roulette room. <laughs> and just, you see, I, I past me knows what's up, so you guys better know what's up too. <laughs> all right, I think past me is also gonna go uh, all can can no, no, never mind. <laughs> I, I I can't think of the right word. Yeah, go all Conan on them basically. And no, not the comedian, nor the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Okay, so we got ourselves another Moogle room. You know what? I find it funny. Uh, whenever I see someone uh, on YouTube do, like, a walkthrough of this game, because, you know, doing post-commentary isn't, like, the biggest thing on YouTube, but whenever I see someone doing a walkthrough of this game, and I see them, like, not at, like, level, some level in the 50s before they take on the final boss. I think they're doing something wrong, but they still manage to get by anyway, so, who knows. I don't know, if you're not up to, like, level 50 in a Kingdom Hearts game before you go fight the final boss, I always think that you're doing something wrong. Any case, again, the roulette room allows you to decide which card you're going to get, so, yeah. That's why you pretty much want a roulette room, guys. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> My bad. Oh, whoa! When water fountains attack! I know this is Halloween Town, but still. Doesn't Jack come out of there in the movie? Yeah, he does, actually. He comes out of a water fountain. He also rides a coffin as his sleigh. Ah, sweet! Oh, sweet double prizes! <laughs> if you couldn't tell, that was a Toy Story reference. What? Oh, okay, good. That didn't take long. And now it's time to fight this bag of bugs. 30 green? You know, it's really sad because I don't really collect that many green cards, because I... 
because you know they're I, I think they're like the cards I'm never gonna touch but apparently I have to you know touch them now sweet oh wait I forgot the key to truth there we go it's like all right I finally found the key what do I do with it <laughs> No, that, that's like walking up to your uh, house door, getting your keys out, and then just going back to your car. It's like, alright, got the keys. Going back. Wait, what? Don't do it! No. <laughs> and he just breaks it just to make sure we can't get it. Testicle banging good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna break out in the song! <laughs> Next thing you know, you see a tree pop out of his gut. <laughs> In any case, that thing is, the potion is doing something wrong to Oogie, which is probably what Doc, Dr. Frankenstein wanted to happen to, I don't know, Sora. But um, in any case, the Oogie fight is not that brain texting, actually. Um, just like with the Oogie, just like with the, um, oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, actually I died to Oogie, so I had to restart. But in any case, um, you know, just like uh, the Oogie fight in King March 1, where you had to stand on a particular panel... Which I didn't get that until I recorded it for YouTube, guys. So, you know, if 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 you feel like I'm, you know, I'm doing something wrong, don't point it out. But um, the Oogie fight in this game is when whenever Oogie like places a seven card, you want to stop. You want to immediately stop that seven card, which is what it, which is what I failed to do because you know I was searching for it. But whatever. Uh, you basically have to stop Oogie a total of three times. Before you can actually do de deal some damage on him, it's it's not it's not something I really like in the, in this fight because you know I'm literally wasting my cards in order to just uh, to lower the gate for him, but whatever. Thank you zero. Thank you nine. And thank you, wait. Oh, come on! It's supposed to be three times. I know, I should know, I count the patterns. There we go. You're joking. You're joking. This can't be the right guy. I don't know, that, that song is really catchy. Oh, man, I just wasted a blitz. Uh, by the way, I don't... I don't, I don't think you will actually get your day sex machina in this uh, fight, so I won't be able to say that. But I will be able to think it. Come on, there we go. Time to die. Oh wait, he still has two bars left. Uh, time to taste the floor with Blitz. Ah yeah, you gotta love that. Oh come on. Yeah, that's something I really don't like about this boss fight. Uh, when, whenever you like, whenever you would, um, you know, deal damage. For some reason, Oogie decides to deflect that with no reason whatsoever. By the way, um, that's what happens if you're not able to, uh, what you call it, stop his cards. So yeah, but yeah, Oogie just like deflects it all of a sudden, like, you know, he could do this all along. But uh, I just don't like it because that's that's those are cards that I just wasted. And by the way, I recommend that you press up to immediately switch to your um, the front of your deck because you know I, the cards that you use you're probably searching through a lot of them. So you you know, or you can use the five the five card that I still have. But then again, I wouldn't want to waste it on. You know, just petty stuff. Let summon. Oh, yeah, there we go. I thought I was gonna summon Donald for a minute there, but it would make sense. He's not really one of my cards. He's part of my memory. Okay, and I just pretty much like wasted a turn by summoning Donald. 
Oh, he healed me? Okay, never mind. I take it back. Almost there. Don't you dare do the... Oh! Seriously. That is, like, the worst part of the boss right there. You know, you, you know, you you get up like a, uh, I don't know, a Zanten Seku or something. It doesn't work against that. It only works against card-related moves, so... Yeah. Alright, time to end it. Hiya! <laughs> there we go. So, uh, yeah, by the way, if you didn't know this, in, in the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas movie, Oogie Boogie is literally a bag of bugs. So, yeah. Any case, guys, you may be wondering, like, what's left of the game? We just completed Halloween Town, and we have no more cards left. Well, we'll be getting to that later on. And by later on, I mean, like, five minutes. Plus cutscene. And get a tree in my stomach? I don't think so. I don't know why, but I, I thought that doctor would be spelled with a K like in Metal Gear Solid. Doctor. No, Doc Thor. Hey, you know, that that would probably like make the best doctor ever. He, whenever you would um your heart rate would fall under under normal, Thor just shocked with lightning. He doesn't need to waste the uh you know, this month's energy uh electricity bill on that. Thunder! So in any case, I assume that the potion was made to um to help Sora remember his past and whatnot. But then again, you know, that would probably be for like five minutes. Because the more you go up in Castle Oblivion, the more memories you lose. So it would be pointless anyways. Yeah, I will enjoy those piss stains in my pants. Thank you. Any case, guys, uh, as we climb the ladder out of Halloween Town, I will see you in the next part. I am, I think I am back with 100 here, and please subscribe, like, and comment. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you enjoyed this part, check out some of my other Let's Plays. But till then, bye, guys.